So I, I just want you to, to hear something, a, a fragment of this. This is what, what his prediction was. This is a prediction of what would happen, the slippery slope we would go down if we engaged in socialized medicine. So play a clip from Ronnie's record. From here, it's a short step to all the rest of socialism, to determining his pay, and pretty soon, your son won't decide when he's in school where he will go or what he will do for a living. He will wait for the government to tell him where he will go to work and what he will do. Well, that did not happen. <laughs> Plainly, that just did not all happen. Well, we got a hold of some other records that Ronald Reagan made in 1961, just to show you that it wasn't just socialized medicine. Look at this. Ronald Reagan speaks out against seatbelts. Once a government establishes its authority to make you strap yourself into your car seat, it's just a matter of time before some bureaucrat is deciding how fast you can go or on which side of the road you have to drive. Pretty soon, I guess, we'll all have to drive in neat little rows on long stretches of pavement. And from there, it's not so hard to imagine signs demanding we stop or yield. <laughs> Ronald Reagan speaks out against color TV. Color TV overstimulates the eyes of young children and creates a fondness for bright colors and loud patterns. And before you know it, Little Jimmy is a homosexual. <laughs> and finally, Ronald Reagan speaks out against clitoral stimulation. It's called syphilis, fellas, and believe you me, you have never felt such pain in your life. <laughs>